Nodes, a quick start guide to tanks, end pressures and flow demands. Pipeflow Expert contains three types of nodes that can be included in a piping model. These are tanks, join points and end pressures. A tank is normally used as a starting point in a system to define the source of the fluid. The liquid level in a tank, the fluid surface pressure and the elevation of the outlet point from the tank all contribute to give the potential energy of the fluid, which can provide some motive force to create flow. Values for the surface pressure, the height of fluid above the tank exit and the elevation of the tank exit can all be set in the node pane here. The join point elevations and elevations and pressures for end pressure nodes can also be set here. For example, where the fluid is open to the atmosphere, the fluid surface pressure should be set to 0 bar G. For a pressurised container, the fluid surface pressure would be set to the pressure in the container. A suitable icon could be chosen to represent the pressurised container. PyFlow Expert gives options for the visual representation of the tank's icon shape, scale and colour. The icon selected is for visual purposes only. The icon choice does not have any effect on the calculations. The tank dimensions are considered to be infinite and therefore the flow rate leaving a tank does not have to equal the flow rate entering a tank. It is also important to notice that pipes that connect to the same tank must all contain the same fluid. As we draw pipes on the pipe flow expert drawing pane, each pipe is separated by a join point. A join point or a node is used to specify the elevation where the pipes connect. You can also change the node colour and size. And each node is identified by a name, which appears on the drawing along with the elevation data as default. We can also add an end pressure node to set a boundary condition in our system. Again, we can enter the elevation, but also specify an end pressure. When this is solved, the flow rate exiting the system at this point will be calculated. To model a discharged atmosphere, we would set the pressure at the end node condition to zero bar. It is also necessary to add a fitting with a K factor of one to the pipe to represent the velocity head exit loss condition. There is a fitting within the PipeFlow Expert database called Open Pipe Exit which can be used in this case. The flow leaving this system from the end of this pipe will be calculated when the system is solved. We can also add an external flow by setting a flow demand. There are two ways to specify an inflow or an outflow demand. You can either select the flow demand tool from the toolbar and with this tool go and click on the node or you can first click on the node and then click the edit button on the node pane to display the set flow demand screen. Choose the flow rate units and enter the flow rate value. Clicking OK will confirm the entry. The inflow and outflow demands specify an external flow that either enters or exits the node. Demands do not set a flow rate within a pipe, they set an external flow in or out of the system. The only time flow demands do determine the flow in a pipe is when the pipe is the only pipe connected to the node where the demand is specified. And we can see this when calculating this system. 